All right, guys. So now we're going to talk about um, rendering our drawing. If you haven't joined, uh, <clears throat> sorry, if this is your first rendering lesson with us, um, then what rendering is, is it's <clears throat> using shading or texture to uh, make something look more three dimensional, right? And right now our drawing doesn't look three dimensional because we don't have any shading or texture, right? So I wanted to compare these two images of uh, chicken, right? You can tell that they're both chickens. However, one definitely definitely looks more realistic than the other. Um, so this right here is our reference image, whereas this one is just a chicken drawing that I found on the internet. Um, so if we look at the uh, reference, right, it has shading it ha or it has shadows and highlights, right? It, shading wasn't necessarily needed to apply it because it's a photograph, right? That's pretty much as realistic uh, as you can get when it comes to like trying to capture reality, right? It's as 3D as you'll probably be able to get outside of like a sculpture, okay? This one on the other hand is a flat drawing, two dimensional drawing with only, uh, with no shading, no shadows, no highlights or anything like that, right? The one on the uh, left side has length uh, right, it's, you can tell how long it is, how wide it is, but also it has this idea of depth, right? It looks like, um, it looks like you could hold on to it. Like it's, it's a roundish shape, right? Whereas this, uh, sorry, this one over here only has length and width and it doesn't look like it would, you'd be able to like hold it. Um, it just looks like it's flat and you would like put it on a sticker or something. Okay. Um, so the other thing I wanted to bring up is, uh, the difference between the texture of these two uh, images here, right? So if we look at this one, okay, we can see that um, the feathers, the texture of the feathers creates this idea of like what the object actually feels like. It looks soft, right? Um, this idea of looking soft comes from being able to see the texture of the feathers, the shadows that um, that fall underneath the, uh, the feathers, how soft are those shadows, how hard are those shadows. We're gonna get a little bit more into that um, in a second, but the main thing is texture, right? Compared to this one over here, um, there is no texture, right? There's, um, it just looks flat. If anything, it might look smooth. It might look like very stiff, something like that, right? Uh, in comparison to the feathers uh, that cover this chicken, right? Um, that's another thing that makes things look more realistic and more three-dimensional is adding the texture, which is <clears throat> um, just, what the actual thing would look like if it were three-dimensional, right? Uh, we're going to be focusing specifically on that today. Last week, we talked about uh, light source. We're still applying that, um, that's, that same idea because we can't do shading without the light source, this time with just one more factor being texture, 